I'm an owner of a beautiful America. I used to be um, used to be quite humble and, and surprised at the conviction expressed by the artists here when they were accepting the awards. And uh, Joyce is a good exemplar of this. Um, absolutely, it's in our hands. <laughs> so that's in your hands. Isn't it? <laughs> In eight short years, <clears throat> our 31-year-old Musician of the Year has become more in demand than any conductor in the world. He is a household name in Los Angeles, where he is music director of the Philharmonic. He is mobbed in Berlin, Vienna, Milan, London, and Caracas, Venezuela, where he is one of his country's best-known and well-loved celebrities. He's often compared to Leonard Bernstein, and he shares the American conductor's charisma tireless advocacy for music education, and expressive music making. At last, it's so important, expressive music making. He studied violin as a child, and in his early teens, he was invited to study conducting with Jose Antonio Abreu. At age 18, he became music director of Elsie Stamen's Elite Simone Bolivar Youth Orchestra. And in 2004, at age 23, he won the Bomberg Symphony's Gustav Mahler Conducting Competition. In 2007, he began a five-year appointment with Sweden's Gothenburg Symphony, which recently ended with his being named Honorary Conductor. His Los Angeles appointment, which began in September 2009, has been distinguished by the orchestra's founding of the Sistema-like Youth Orchestra of Los Angeles, YOLA in parentheses, and a continuation of the orchestra's and his own commitment to new music most notably that of John Adams. He and the orchestra will take Adams' most recent piece, The Gospel According to the Other Mary, on their March tour of London, Lucerne, Paris, and New York. So we're going to be able to hear it right over here in Avery Fisher Hall. A major ongoing LA project is the three Mozart operas designed by Frank Gehry. Perhaps the most ambitious project, though, of his tenure has been Mahler Symphony Cycles in Los Angeles and Caracas early this year to commemorate the centennial of the composer's death. The LA and Bolivar orchestras shared honors in all but number eight, the Symphony of the Thousand, in which they combined choruses with a chorus of over 1,200 singers, which makes this the symphony of 1,400 plus. <laughs> the performance has been released on DVD and Blu-ray by Deutsche Grammophon. We in New York have the best of both worlds. We can hear these wonderful musicians and their conductor on recordings and live in concert at Carnegie Hall. The Venezuelan Brass tomorrow night and a musician of our year leading the full orchestra on Monday and Tuesday. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Musical America's Musician of the Year, Gustavo Dudamel. Exactly 17 years ago, um, we were the National Children Orchestra. This was back in 1995, I think. And we came to the States to make our debut. Three, three days ago, uh, at the Kennedy Center, was that we are still the same orchestra for 17 years. Some of us we were eight. <laughs> One of the trumpet players, Andre, <coughs> was eight years old. Uh, I'm sorry for everything that we were doing to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Others are, were 10 at that time, 12. I was one of the older. I was 13, something like that. 13, exactly. And, and it's amazing because the power of the music is the most amazing thing. Coming from this amazing project that Maestro Abreu have created, giving more than music, giving hope to children, especially uh, to disadvantaged children and young people, is such a powerful element to change and to help to change community. And when I think in that, when I, when I, when I see all of this life, that is not so long because it's not, it's not only eight years. I remember when I was, and I can't remember, I was telling today to Charlie Rose that I remember when I was three years old and I remember my father playing the trombone and I was sitting there and he was playing or reading music and music had been always around my life. But the most amazing thing is that he was asking me something really that made me think. If music, if I decide to be a musician, or music took me to be a musician. And I think without, you, without that system, without this program, this was impossible to happen. Impossible. Because, because all of this is about, it's not about me. <laughs> You know, I only represent, you know, all of this community of children and young people dreaming and building life through music. So it's not that music chose me, uh, choose me or I choose the music. It's that El Sistema gave me the opportunity to create a life through music. And all of these prizes, all of this recognition, of course, I, 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 re, I, I thank, thank you for all of that, but a conductor without an orchestra is nothing, you know? <laughs> I can be here conducting to you and you will not receive anything. <laughs> <laughs> you will think that I'm a crazy guy moving my arms here, but the most important thing is the musician, the musicians that you have in front. Of course, I have inspiration. I got the most amazing inspiration in my life that is Martin, my son. Because before I was thinking, you know, that life was beautiful. But now life is amazing. <laughs> it's really the most special thing. And it's a permanent inspiration for whatever I do. If I, I love to wake up and to think, oh, I have a baby. <laughs> you know, and, and that is the most important thing. And of course, I have a, I have a concert. Yes, but I have a baby. <laughs> so it's, 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 it's something really beautiful to my family, my wife. I have the chance to have all my family here with me. I, even my, my violin teacher, where are you, Maestro Del Castillo? You know, he was my violin teacher. You see, I have passed through many things. I wanted to play trombone, then I tried the trumpet, then I played the violin very bad. <laughs> uh, then I started to conduct, imitating conductors. And then here I am, conducting my beloved Simon Bolivar Orchestra, being part of El Sistema, helping Maestro Abreu, Los Angeles Philharmonic Orchestra. You were crazy when you decide to call me to be the music director. So Mar Mark Sweat, Mark Sweat uh, uh, I was talking to him just before, and he told me, what, what, what a crazy year. You have conducted all Mahler Symphony. You have conducted four or five operas. You have doing all of that. We live day by day, you know? We don't think what we have, we have been doing or what we have to do. We have rehearsal, we play, and we love what we do. As simple as that. It's not a big responsibility. It's only a pleasure to be a musician. <coughs> and I also remember something about Musical America. When I went to the to the to the Bamberg competition, 
I remember a man, Paul Muir. Yes. You know? Yes. <coughs> he was living in Berlin, I think. Yes. And he wrote a beautiful history about, about the competition. And we became good friends, you know? That is a good relation that I have with Musical America because I was all the time in Berlin studying with Simon Rattel, with Barenboim, with Abado, and he was always there drinking a coffee with me. <laughs> so, and talking about music. Well, what else I can say? <laughs> Thanks to music, how you say, you see, maestro, all of you, we have to keep giving the message and sharing the power and the beauty of music because what we are missing is beauty for people. And art, and especially the art of music, is so powerful. Thank you very much.